Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. I just got out of the shower, that's why I look like an idiot. I'm kidding, that's why I look like this. Um, but I thought I would do a little get ready with me video because I have Malia's birthday dinner tonight at like 7.15, but we're gonna head over to Michaela's apartment at like 5-ish. And I might vlog a little bit of it actually. So I'll do a maybe get ready with me plus some of dinner and vlog a little of tonight. I don't know, we'll see what I end up vlogging because you know, you never know what what I'll actually end up filming. The lighting's so bad because I'm staying right behind my disco ball. There I am. I just got out of the shower. I took like the shower, shaved my entire body, washed my hair, you know, the whole deal. Face, washed my lashes. I'm gonna do my skincare and stuff in the bathroom. Take you guys with me to just get ready. We'll pick up my outfit and stuff and then go to dinner. I also wanted to try out, I showed you guys yesterday, did I? Oh, well, I just heard this video, but I might I don't remember if I showed you guys in my last vlog, but I got all these products sent from Kaja Beauty, and I definitely want to try some of them out for my makeup tonight, so I'll do my makeup at home and then maybe do my hair at Michaela's apartment because we'll definitely have like a few hours to get ready, so I want to try these things for you guys, and I also just got some new Acosis concealer and lip oil and um this i really want to try out so i don't know i just have a bunch of things i want to try out so i wanted to do a little get ready with me oops i'm like flailing the camera all around um so we can try out the products together you know i like everything down below that i use as always you can always find it there and yeah update on my new brooklyn and sheets i love them so freaking much i'm already so excited to come home tonight after the dinner like literally <laughs> but i'm so excited for the dinner too um so yeah my mom's making me a bagel because i haven't eaten yet it's 3 p.m shoot that's really bad but yeah um, so I have like two hours to get ready. I'll probably hang out for a little bit and do some editing, but let's do some skincare first. Sorry, I'm being so bad at like holding it still. It's probably, it's like, I'm so like shaky right now. Probably because I had coffee and nothing to eat all day. I'm going to put in my little non-crease clips. I love these things too. Well, it's okay. Okay, well you got to get It's a little bagel. Did the toaster work? Okay. Thanks, girl. I just hate the sound of that fan. So, I'm gonna do skincare now. Probably won't do makeup yet, because as I said, it's so early. Let's get some good natural light in here. Ugh, oh, my favorite. I love natural light, don't you guys? Per. That's fine. I'll need my makeup for sale. so much noise going on in my house right now but I'm gonna do my skincare <laughs> my eyebrows because you know when they just are like so bad they like ruin your whole makeup look like that's how I feel like they're doing so I have to look them really badly but let me brush my hair first Here's the before. It really, they really don't look so bad on camera, but I guess I'll show you after. They're so bad, like underneath. It's just all like, I have to pluck all of that, you know. You guys, my camera keeps turning off while I'm filming and then deleting what I filmed, so I don't know why, but I did my eyebrows. I hope this doesn't delete. You can't really tell. I didn't really do a good job because my tweezers like kind of suck right now because they're like old. So yeah. Um, but I was just watching Maggie's vlog on my phone while I was doing that, so I would be entertained. But um, I'm gonna do or use a pimple patch now because I also shaved my mustache when I did my brows. But I have a huge pimple right here. I tried to pop it, but it still needs a pimple patch. 
So, I wanted to show you guys these new pimple brushes that I got. I can't use my tripod because I think that's what's fucking up my camera. So, just excuse the fact that you can't really see my face. But it's, they're called Zit Sticka. They're linked to my Amazon storefront under like beauty. They're my favorite um, pimple patches ever. Brooke introduced me to them. Um, I actually might start working with this brand. So, I don't want to talk too much about them yet because, you know, but... Um, I'll show you guys how I use them. So you take, there's two little, let me just show you. So here's the box they come in. You take one cleaner packet and then one individually wrapped pimple patch, you know? What time is it? 3.30, okay, we're good. And here they are, so I'll just show you. First, you clean. And it's like a little alcohol, but it just cleans your pimple. If you just popped it like I did, it'll probably sting really bad, but... If you didn't, it hopefully won't. It smells like it just smells like cleaner or something. So clean that and then throw it away. You don't want to use it on multiple pimples. You can let it dry a little bit, but then an individually wrapped pimple patch. And the reason that Brooke said these are so good is because they um I was telling her how the Mighty Patch ones are just like, they just kind of are like a sticker, like they don't really do anything. And she was like, oh yeah, these ones have like microblading little pointy needles in them. So they like pop the pimple kind of. I think last time I used them, I pushed it in too hard because I like had a lot of dead skin fall off around my pimple and I kind of like think I just like poked my skin or something. But I won't push it down that hard, but you do push it down a little bit. So look, it's individually wrapped. It's so freaking cute, and it's so easy to like, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble opening it right now. I never usually, so I don't know what the deal is right now. No. It's so easy, as I was saying, to like take, to travel somewhere, or like you could just take like a few pimple patches, you know? So look. So you guys can see like the little pointy things in there. So you just take off. Sorry, I'm not the best at like filming this or focusing this on my camera, but like that, and then you just stick it on a pimple. The one you cleaned, obviously. Oh, I need to use the mirror. Sorry, guys. Perfect. This time I'm not gonna push. Oh, it's a little on my lip, but whatever. I'll take it off before I do my makeup, obviously, in like an hour. But um, <laughs> it's literally on my lip. That's gonna bother me a lot. You're definitely not supposed to unstick it like that and put it back on, but it's okay. So I'm not going to push on the actual blades. I'm just going to push it around so it like stays stuck. And yeah, I did my skincare. I'm just going to brush out my lashes and then probably hang out for a little bit. Maybe I'll pick up my outfit, but I'll obviously update you guys and then do my makeup. Take off this pimple patch, obviously. Let's get some more light in here. I just can't wait for my duvet to come now. So it's the perfect bed of all time but i'm gonna do some eye masks before i do my makeup because i have a pimple patch on and i just love eye masks before i get ready i'm using my favorite little grace and stella brand ones um link to my storefront obviously <gasps> i spilled it see it says everything is better in pink damn right girl little too close to my eyeball because when I look down they fall off sometimes if they're too close there we go okay I'm gonna oh I have to go get my, all my rings and stuff in the bathroom I can't forget those and my bracelets um I'm gonna try a few outfits for dinner because I don't want to do my hair or makeup because my hair's wet and obviously my face so I'm gonna try on a few things this little new top from Aritzia it's so freaking cute you can't really like see it because the sunlight but it's like lined and it's just like a cotton material super cute but it's a little bit long like it's not like a bra basically and these are the most high-waisted jeans ever the twill pant from um h&m and i but i love this i would love this with this and then if i could wear it with my panda dunks like isn't that such cute just like black and white fit like casual dinner in the city fit but I'm scared that since these are so high-waisted, like, this is gonna look stupid together, you know? They're gonna, like, overlap so much. And the pants are so long anyway, so I think I'd have to wear heels with them, not sneakers. Until I get them hemmed. But 
those are options and then these pants are princess polly i wore them in white in my instagram a few posts or like i think my most recent or er, my second most recent post i mean but they're just like cargo-y pants i cut them um the white <laughs> the white ones i have i cut them so i could cut these two probably they'd be the same but they're super high-waisted also so i could do a whole black fit like this would be cute with the princess polly little side like lace up tube top because it's like really cropped so this would be a cute fit or i could wear this top with the toe pant the jeans but i really like this top i don't know i'm i'm i feel like a black look i don't know why but i'll show you guys i'm gonna try on some stuff we'll see you guys good news i was wrong about this part it doesn't look stupid like because they have a little um separation you know but these pants are a little bit tight i was gonna return them for a size bigger because the h&m jeans are so hard to figure out like i got the same size in three pairs and one was too big one was too small one was just right like literally <laughs> so but they're like fine but i don't want to like regret wearing like a super tight pant but i really like this look but i could just save this top and these jeans for when i return them for the size that actually fits you know and i could also crop them and wear them with the panda dunks and like really feel myself <laughs> But I just like, I like to wear my fits right when I think of them because, you know, then I never really happen to do it. But I'll try on the pants with this top and then I'll try on the other top with the other pants. Okay, so this look, this look is confusing me because I know the lighting's bad so you can't really see the pants. They're obviously so long. Should I cut them and then reevaluate? Like, because I could wear them with the panda dunks, you know, and live out my dream of the sneakers and the top. Or should I save the top for the jeans and wear the tube top that's black as well? Okay, you guys. So, update. I cut the pants and I put on the dunks. I think I'd cut them a little bit shorter because they're still, like, touching the floor, obviously. Just, like, to be like that. You know what I mean? Um, but they're still, like, pretty big. Like, they're just, like, parachute pants. But, like, those are in, so maybe I should just stop complaining, you know? I also folded the waistband. And you guys might be like, Kate, what the frick? why did you fold the waistband but it looks much cuter this way actually like and it doesn't squeeze my fat as much the only thing is the tags out but i think i could just contain it and ow my mosquito bites are right there but stick it in but um it actually looks much cuter than it did before and now i can pull it up higher so like my butt feels better i was gonna say it looks better but like i don't think it really makes a difference it just like feels better when it's more high-waisted and fits me right um but i'm still gonna try on the other top because i don't want to regret like not trying that one on i guess okay you guys now i have this top on and ugh, so you can't really see it that's why i kind of hate like i'm like very much so obsessed with this top and i love the pants obviously i don't know and kelly just came in here and said i love that set and it's not a set but it got me thinking kind of looks like a set and i kind of like it even more now that she's at that <laughs> because if you think of it like a set it's like even cuter do you guys know what i mean i don't know i'm having a hard time maybe it's just because i need to cut the pants a little more because i hate when like my feet are like being drowned but i don't want it to look like stupid like that you know that'd be so ugly so i have to make sure only cut a tiny bit more um should i try it on with heels first though just to see if maybe i like it better because I feel like I need some, like, definition or something. Oh, I should not crease my shoes. Um, not definition, like, you know, I feel like heels or something would make them look better. I don't know. I'm trying to decide what heels to wear. And do you guys think brown and black is a thing? Because, look, the bag would match. See? I could wear the brown heels in the brown bag with the black. But I've always been scared to wear, like, black and brown together for some reason. So... I also have black heels that are like strappy. See, you can't even see them. But I don't know. I really don't know. Now I'm not really feeling this set anymore. <sighs> I'm out of breath, but I decided on the fit. I cut the pants a little bit more, and they're like the perfect length now. They just don't touch the ground. Perf. And wearing the dunks, I guess. A ritzy top. I'm gonna put on nipples, and I just hate how big the pants are. But no, they're fine. I'll probably wear the black Prada bag. That one right there um to match but i don't have that much time to do my makeup so i'm gonna get on that now okay i'm gonna do makeup now i wanted to film a little bit of it because 
I'm gonna try out some of the new products from Kaja and some of my other new products. I had to take off the pimple patch, obviously. Putting my little non crease clips, my fave. I just texted Michaela. She has a straightener, obviously, but like, I just wanna make sure it wasn't like broken or something, you know? So, texted her. So, I'll just straighten my hair once I get to the apartment and just do my makeup, and then we'll probably go. I'm gonna start with primer. This is my favorite e.l.f. power grip recently because it just like gets your makeup stuck onto your face and it like fills in your pores pretty well. Not like fills in in like a bad way, not like clogs I don't mean, but like, you know, like gives your face a nice smooth makeup base. So I've been loving this stuff, but I haven't really tried that many primers in my day. So let me know if you guys maybe have a better suggestion than this one. But I really do like this one. Rub it in, pat it in, until it's like sticky or tacky or whatever. And then you want to let it dry. You don't want to keep touching it or it'll like, you know, whip up. Like make your makeup not be smoothly on. I'm gonna wash my hands. Put my jewelry back on before I forgot, but I don't have a <clears throat> like foundation really shade or foundation that matches me well because the Dior Air Flash, I love this stuff, but it's a little bit dark for me when I'm my pale color. I think I'll just like try to use concealer and do like spot corrections and hope it does. It creates like a nice looking base without any foundation. Cause I have my two Kosas shades. This one's my under eye shade, it's pretty light. And then this one 3.2 is the one I just got. Um, that's supposed to match. Wait. <laughs> Is three point darker? Hold on. Four point five and three point two. They literally look the exact same. No, actually, four point five does look a little darker. Four point five is not even the new one though. So I'm not sure what to do. Which one do I use under my eyes? Obviously the lighter one, but I thought that the new one. With the under eye shade. Or the new one was the spot correction shade. Mm. Yeah, the new one does maybe look darker. I'm gonna use the new one as my. I hope I put those lids in right. Yeah, I think I did. I'm gonna use the new one as my spot correction, I guess. It's imagining pretty well. I'm just gonna kind of like. Put it all over like I would foundation. <laughs> I'm gonna blend it out. <laughs> but also cover my pimples obviously. But I just want it to be like even on both sides. If I cover pimple on one side, usually I'll like kind of do the same thing on the other. Just so it doesn't look too stupid or anything. Oh shoot. So that one was I literally can't even remember. Yeah, that one was the one, the new one. I guess I'll try to do this one under my eyes. Yeah, that does look a little lighter actually. So I did it on like my nose, my under eyes. See, you can tell the difference now. I am a little bit stupid. I didn't mean that in a rude way. I'm gonna use my new, or not new beauty blender, just my regular beauty blender obviously to blend it all out. I'm gonna do under eyes last. Okay, I blended everything but the under eyes. Now I'm gonna do the under eyes, obviously. I feel like the sun is like kind of too bright. Oh, that's much better. You don't wanna let the concealer sit under your eyes for too long, actually. Or maybe that was the, yeah, that was actually the Fenty Beauty one. It was kind of weird after I let it sit under my eyes for just a little bit too long. So be careful and mindful about that. If you have the Fenty under eye concealer, Okay, it looks actually really good. It's all like blended nicely. I'm gonna quickly do Tarte Shape Tape Powder under my eyes because my under eyes, like especially the concealer, creases pretty quickly. So I like to bake it kind of. I'll brush it off shortly, but you know, 
But before I set the rest of my face with powder, I'm gonna do Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Oops, not open. <laughs> I've been loving this wand since I got it. It's very like good, especially for beginners, but like even like if you just wanna like do easy makeup or like you know, like you don't wanna have to spend so long on your makeup or whatever. It's so easy because it like it never dries basically, so you can like kinda play with it as much as you want. Which is great. I'm gonna do powder contour for the nose and stuff because I already did um powder near my nose but I usually take a brush for this stuff because it's easier to blend that way. Oh let me do that. I'm just gonna wipe off the under eye powder before blending this stuff out too. Very messy with this stuff it just kind of like blends into place which I love. And then I blend the forehead like into my hairline so it's nice and seamless into the cheekbones obviously, and then jawline. Oh, I think I have to go soon. Okay, just the forehead needs a little more blending. And the rest of the face I think looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a little foundation brush and just kind of go over, because this one's like a bigger bristled one, so I feel like it'll just see it like blend everything out. A little bit better. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna set it with oops, the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna set like all the concealer that I acted like was foundation and wet dries and just all the liquid products that I just want. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of powder contour to bring. A tiny bit more color into my face and it just so it looks like more blended out you know and as I said I wanted to put a little bit on my nose as well I'm gonna try out this new Kasha beauty the uber could be like 11 minutes away is that fine yeah I don't know if it's highlighter I thought it was an eyeshadow and some of them look like eyeshadow like the top one especially. So, shoot, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna use my Fenty Beauty highlighter because I know this is face highlighter, obviously, and put it And I'm gonna use my new little crayon eyeliner just for my waterline. I have to do this in the mirror though. Okay, did eyeliner mascara is in my bag, so I'm obviously gonna do my hair on Michaela's. I'm gonna bring my cam to just to update you guys probably at her apartment and stuff. But I'm gonna use the Kosas Wet Lip Plumping Gloss. I don't know if I like the shade yet. It's kind of just very similar to my lips. Actually. I do really like it. It looks more like a liquid lipstick, but I'm gonna bring these two and then I think my mascara is in my bag. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of eyeshadow quick. Should I use the new Kaja actually? Yeah. I'm gonna use the top gold actually. Should I use the gold shade or should I use the peachier shade? Actually, yeah, I like this shade. Okay, sorry, I'm so rushed. My sister used my eyeshadow brush, so I'm just I'm gonna do it on my eyelids, but I can't really do it for you guys. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, it's really pretty. It's really, it is definitely an eyeshadow. It's just so pretty. It goes on as just like little sparkly. Wow, oh my God, this brand might be like my new fave. I feel like I'll look crazy. I'm just gonna bring a few things to do my makeup like in the car or when I get there but yeah I'll update you guys there hey y'all we're in the oob heading to Michaela's um we're putting in earrings I gave whoop, I gave Kylie the princess Polly show them the little white hoops with gold I'm gonna wear the little sincere Sally 
hoops with the pearls because my black and white fit. Um, I'm doing my hair at Michaela's because I know it looks bad. I'm gonna straighten it there. Uh, and hey, <laughs> and you guys can use my code KJ's15 for 50% 50 off. Hey guys. Wait, am I Here's in Malia's it? new oh. hair. I was trying to show the mirror. Can I can't it? see your hair. Show the back. Oh, oh. beautiful! Wow. 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 Michaela, want to show yours? Picture. So pretty. She got it a little shorter, and Kylie didn't. If you couldn't tell, Michaela we all have the same hair. <laughs> I, don't know. I know all your hairs look the same color now. No, no. and I put on Malia's pants because my work hurting me a little bit. I saw a little to rip to you today, Michaela. <laughs> The top? Oh, you did too. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to get it because it looked terrible. But there was it was a like so clothes. hectic in there. Yeah. yeah. Put it on. Yeah. Did you expect it at you all? Wear that all night. Oh, oh wait, somebody mentioned a tiara when I was at your house. I know. Why is that? I forget. How did it come up? I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I you know, brought it up. This morning too. Oh, because Kate was like. Yeah, Michaela thought Kate of it too. Showed Avery's friend was wearing a tiara. You and have to then, put it on right this second. Oh, I'm putting it on right this second. Uh -huh. Temporary amount of time I can wear something like this. Mm -hmm. Kelly, where'd you find it? Party City? Mm -hmm. Oh. How'd you know I went to get it? Oh, I told you. I didn't show you guys, but Malia <laughs> opened her present. She got a bra and show the biker shirt. I got Lulu set from Is the Kate biker shirt more spaces? Oh no. Oh, I don't think so. These are so cute. I know, I yeah, love that I love color. Biker short. So and cute. A bra, matching bra. And it's reversible. It's reversible. And it's so cute. I got this off. I straightened yeah. my hair. Okay. And finished my makeup. <laughs> Hey y'all, you can't see us because we're in the dark. But we finished dinner. It was so, so freaking good. amazing. I got like almost two er, What did I get? You got this. What is it called? Oh, vodka sauce. And then Michaela got lobster ravioli, Kylie got salmon. And mm -hmm. everything was so good. Now we're in the Uber going to Jack's apartment because we got a seized apartment. We're so yeah. excited. My phone's gonna die too. It's okay, we can use Jack's fast charger. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Excuse me, let me clean you up. <laughs> I should not be allowed to even be alive. Okay. <sighs> oh my god. Good morning, you guys. Um, it's really the morning. It's nine o'clock. <laughs> Every time I've been starting off my vlogs, oh cold. I've been um I'm always like, okay, it's actually 1 p.m. It's literally 9 a.m. But I'm gonna go back to sleep probably. Or, see, I always say that and I never am able to fall asleep, but I'm gonna try to go back to sleep. But I also need gas. But Kim give me money for gas so I can go get gas. Cause I didn't use it last time I got gas. Anyway, I wanted to do a little like recap, chat with you guys, um, and stuff. So it's nine o'clock. I don't know why I woke up so early. I've actually been waking up kind of early, like, eight nine ish recently and just like sitting in my bed for literally hours because i have nothing to do at the crack of dawn like what am i gonna want to do but i woke up this morning and throw but i also threw up last night so i like kind of thought i'd wake up this morning and throw up because it like typically happens to me and it did so that's why i woke up so early i think and then i just like don't want to go back to sleep well then i just want to like brush my teeth and like i don't know like not <laughs> Like, I can't just, like, throw up and go straight back to bed. And then, like, by the time I'm, like, done, I'm already, like, awake and stuff, you know? But, so this is my plan. I was literally, like, seeing stars. I feel like I haven't eaten in a long time. I ate the vodka pasta last night. But, like, I obviously didn't eat the whole thing. And, like, my tiny little portions that I eat are not big enough. And I didn't have, like, a lot to eat the whole rest of the day yesterday. So, I think it was just, like, the mix of that and... You know <laughs> so um i don't know like i really don't it's, it really pisses me off too because it's like so annoying um to be like this but i don't know so i was like seeing stars which and i like felt really like empty and like i didn't need to eat obviously i felt like that last night too um like right before i went to bed and i tried to eat i actually did i ate a bowl of cereal which is good. And I never threw that up because 
I'll change that after. Um, anyway, I woke up this morning and as I was throwing up, I was like seeing stars and I was like, shoot. We need to get something to eat, but like, no way I'm gonna be able to eat something right now. Like, you know that feeling when you just like can't eat. So I wanted to get a smoothie, but like, the smoothie place that I go to is how far? It's in Chestnut Hill, but like the farthest Chestnut Hill little plaza there is where berries is and stuff that's the farthest from my house it's like literally 20 minutes ends up being and that's like honestly a 40 minute drive i don't want to take that long so i'm looking for like a place in my town or something but i just came across this place which is in newton which is nearby and i think i've heard of it so let's just see how far away it is because if it's in newton it might be close but it also might be far i'm so glad i have this water in my car i'm also like not in the mood for coffee and i think i will be like after i get some smoothie in me maybe but my plan for now is I just want to like get a smoothie and go home and try to like maybe go back to sleep or something. So it's Sunday. I told you guys I have nothing to do today. Um, which is still true. I'm waiting for this to load the directions. It's like taking so long. Um, it's still true. I have nothing to do today. Oh shoot, my camera's gonna die. Um, <clears throat> I did say I wanted to clean out my room a little bit or like try to put away my clothes and stuff because that's something I have to do before I go to school for sure. And try to like clean out my closet. Um, but yeah. So that is something that maybe I'll try to do today and just like little things in my house. Like I don't really want to do anything super big and leave my house in. Not that I ever do, but. Um, and then tomorrow I get my hair done. I'm so freaking excited. I thought it wasn't this Monday, but I guess it is. She comes usually on Mondays. So she's coming at 10. She'll do mine or Avery's first and then my mom's. Um, I can't wait. So I'll vlog that too probably. I'm just, I'm interested in this place because it looks really good, the smoothie place, but I just don't want it to be like insanely far away. Oh, it's 11 minutes. That's really not bad at all. Should I like order online? See, I just like get nervous. Like I really get nervous going to new places and I don't know. I don't know why I'm so weird about it. The best healthy snacks and smoothies, nice owner and stuff. Okay. <laughs> it's 11, <coughs> 11. <coughs> Health is what it's called. Why is it called that? They don't have a website. That like kind of susses me out. Yeah, this seems like too much work. Let's go back to smooth. See, it doesn't give me places near me though. It goes Bedford. That's so far. That's the first thing that came up. You guys, I literally just started crying. Cause why when I look up smoothie near me, the closest place is in Chelmsford. What in the fuck is Chelmsford? Never even heard of that. I put it in. It's 35 minutes away. Who in their right mind would search smoothie near me looking for a place 35 minutes away? What? I don't live there. Why do they think I live there? And I go use precise location. Use precise location. Use my fucking address in my fucking house. And it says Chelmsford. I'm not going to fucking Chelmsford. What? It's just you don't understand how frustrating this is like I would literally buy a blender and like all the shit and make a smoothie in my car if I could Like why is it so hard to get a smoothie? What kind of place doesn't have a blender and fruit? Like why are they giving me places so far away? And there's nowhere near me like what? It's such a normal thing like people drink smoothies every day. Why don't they have a fucking like what? Up to you guys my camera's still about to die, but I literally can't stop crying. I've been driving around like trying to find a smoothie place. I don't even know what's wrong with me. I can't find a smoothie place. Can't find anything else that sounds good. Like, nothing else sounds good. So, it's either that or like nothing, because I can't like, eat food right now, definitely. There's crying on my shirt, and I'm at the gas station now. I just paid with Apple Pay um, $90 to fill up my tank. So, I'm doing that. And then I literally think I'm just gonna go home and try to go back to bed. I can't find a smoothie because this is like so annoying and it just keeps making me like so upset. I literally don't know what to do. Like what? <laughs> Probably update you guys later though when I'm in a better mood. Hey you guys, little update. I ended up getting a smoothie at like 12 because I never ended up being able to fall back asleep. So that's what I did. I juice press. It was actually so bomb. I did um, bananas. It was like banana raspberry. It was called the Fountain of Youth I think and I removed chia seeds and added acai and it was so good i got the huge one and i drank the entire thing and then i took a shower just now um i need to brush my hair i didn't wash it or anything but just washed my body and stuff i did my skincare and i'm just gonna open up my shades and stuff probably make my bed try to get myself together a little bit and 
ready for the day. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I kind of want coffee at Dunkin', but I also want a meal. Cause I need like lunch or something. Cause I had this movie like a little bit ago. It's like three maybe now. I don't know. Okay, I put on a little fit, my little Aritzia, um, like PJ shorts with the ties, and I can't really see, but the little waffly ones that I love so much. And then Free People Tank, gray one with a black strap, so it all matches. And yeah, that's the fit. I don't really know what I'm gonna eat or do, because I want a coffee or I wanted to go to Dunks, but I would want like food first, you know? I'm probably gonna put on my little Annie Bing hoodie over top. I know you guys are sideways a little bit, but I'm taking my multivitamin because I probably should. I have my cues. I guess we'll go and get them tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not like gonna move for anything. Hi, you guys. It's much later now. It's 6:40. Um. I just had dinner with my family. We ordered takeout for Kelly's last night with us. She's going back to school tomorrow. Um, yeah, I haven't really been up to anything recently. Michael came over to say goodbye because he's going to school tomorrow too. Um, it's like so weird. I don't know that it's like our turn to go to school. Like I'm used to like Kylie and all her friends leaving for school, but like it's like so weird that it's like my turn and like people that I know are leaving. Like it's so weird. And it makes me like so like uneasy feeling like it's like so odd like you have no idea like what's going on or what to expect i feel like i keep saying the same thing but it's like so true like it's so hard to like be so excited when you literally have no idea what to expect at all you know um <laughs> especially for me because it's like a school that i have nothing no idea about or anything like you know, like, I feel like certain people, like, if you go to, like, a bigger school or, like, a school that, like, people you know go to or, like, a sibling went to, like, I feel like it's, like, much more, like, you know what goes on there. You know more how your, like, life will probably be. But for me, I really have no idea. But it's so exciting, like, you know, everyone's super excited, so, like, it's making me, like, happy to, I don't know, I guess see people who makes me do our school. Um... But yeah, that's it. And then I just hung out. I took a shower. Did I? Oh yeah, I took a shower. Um, and then we had dinner. I had a little burger, but I didn't eat it because it was so bad for some reason. Um, and now I'm back in the car. I also went to Starbucks, got a strawberry acai before dinner. Not really sure what I'm up to now. I just like drove around for a little bit and listened to some Taylor Swift songs. I'm not a Taylor Swift girl, but recently I've been listening to her for some reason and I love it. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on right now. It's almost 7 p.m. Sunday. I literally have nothing I want to do for the rest of the day. I said I wanted to put away my clothes and stuff, but I always say that and I never do it. Maybe I'll still do it because we still have, like, obviously a lot of time before I'm going to go to bed. Um, but I just want to update you guys, you know, tell you that. Um, I'm going to keep the vlog going for tomorrow, I think. Or should I start a- Oh, did I want to do like a weekend vlog? See, I don't remember. I'll probably have to do some editing later so I can like figure out how I want to do it if I want to start a new vlog for tomorrow. But regardless, tomorrow is Monday. I'm super excited because I get my hair done. Sam's coming. I think I already told you guys this too, but yeah, she's coming tomorrow and then I have therapy at two. That's all I have tomorrow on Mondays, usually only therapy. So yeah, that's it. Um, so I'll obviously update you guys if I end off the vlog or if I don't, <laughs> you'll know. You guys, life is just like so weird right now. And I know I like keep kind of saying that. It's like now 10 p.m. I just like got back in my car. I left my camera in my car, so I just came back to say hey quick. But life is so weird right now. Like this is the weirdest time ever going into college. Even if you don't go to college, like I know I'm going to college, but like just like everyone else going to college. Like I'm not going for like 
a while like i have a few weeks but like everyone's leaving like this week or next week and it's like oh my god like it's freaking me the fuck out <sighs> i don't know it's just so odd that it's like our turn like it's so weird to me i can't like understand it yet i still don't think once i get to school i will like have grasped it yet like i feel like it's just gonna be like a weird fever dream for like the first whole time i don't even know but yeah i, ke I just said bye to kelly because she was well, she'll leave tomorrow morning at like 5 a.m she said so um she'll go back to villanova and then kylie doesn't leave for i don't know a little bit she leaves kind of late too and then i leave later than her but yeah it's like just so weird i was texting with alana she's leaving tuesday and yeah i mean it's just like so odd like like ev like everyone's leaving like every like my entire life everyone's just like been in the same town like you know like everyone's like going off on their own like it's so weird it's so weird like just like everyone even like people that i wasn't close with people that i was like it's just so weird everyone's like dispersing and it makes me like so uncomfortable like it's like the weirdest feeling you know like it's just so odd i don't know like re like the past few weeks i've just been like so like feeling so odd not the past few weeks maybe like the past week it's just like the weirdest feeling like uneasy because you just like don't know what's going on you don't know what's gonna happen you know i keep saying that but like you know what i mean it's just so overwhelming <sighs> and yeah i don't know it's a very very exciting time though like every time i talk to someone about it like like every like every time that i've talked to like a friend or something that's like also going to college they're just like we're always like it's so fucking weird but like it's so exciting too like college is like a whole new experience you know it's like something you've never experienced before and either if you hate it or you love it like you gotta experience it <laughs> you know <laughs> So, it's so exciting, like, a whole new world, a whole new everything, like, and I've never had that before, I've never, like, moved, I've never anything, I've always been in the same town, like, you know, so it's, like, definitely, uh, so scary, but it's definitely exciting, and, like, I, I can, like, understand the excitement for other people, too, like, I'm a very, very nervous person, and I love just, like, my routine, my own space, I could, like, be alone forever, you know, I would, that, that, sounds, that sounds bad, but, like, I could, like, just be in my room and, like, have my little routine and, like, have my, all my alone time, like, most of the day, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm very fine being alone for a lot of the time, and, like, I, I, that's, like, where I feel, like, I get my energy, you know, I was talking about this in another video, I remember, but um, I just need to like, I recharge by like being alone. Some people recharge by like being around other people and like getting energy from other people. I definitely don't. So basically, oh, did I lock my car? no, I get so scared at night if my car's not locked. Um, basically I could like be fine in my little routine in my house, like for my entire life is what I'm saying now. But like maybe I'll, I'll get to college and be like, wow, I'm so happy I did this. Like I'm so happy I stepped up my comfort zone and I'm hoping that's how it'll be. Even if it's not like, I just have to try it like I would hate myself forever if I didn't try it you know and that's how you just have to think about like everything like is there a possibility that I wouldn't try it like no I have to like I would just hate myself if I never tried it you know and there's like so much to be excited about you know and especially like dorm shopping and stuff like I've found my ways to like be excited about it and it's definitely hard to like make peace with the fact that like so many things are changing but in the long run like everything happens for a reason i know it sounds like so stupid but literally everything happens for a reason and you'll like everything will work itself out no matter what and even though everything's weird and scary right now it's like a part of life you know and it's really scary like life is really scary yeah that's the talk i feel like i could just keep coming on here and ranting about how weird everything's right now but I mean, honestly, I feel like it's kind of relatable for you guys because a lot of you guys are also going to college. I got a lot of interesting, not interesting, but like really good co or questions um, when I posted my Instagram story for you guys to ask me questions. Um, I got really good questions from you guys just talking about college. People were saying like, I'm having a hard time being excited. Like, how do I like 
you know get myself excited to go to college when i'm already like so happy with my life right now and just like things like that and it's just like even me reading those over like made me feel more comfortable and better just that like other people felt the same way as me you know but i'll be posting a whole video answering all those questions soon i just haven't gotten around to it and i know i have to soon but yeah i don't know everything's so weird and that's pretty much all i had to say right now but life is a crazy roller coaster and only good things will come from it. I don't know why I just made up that random saying, but yeah.